In this tutorial, I will show you how to run simple A-B tests in Tableau. And as you will see, they will be extremely visual just like everything else in Tableau. To start off, we're going to save the name of this worksheet and I'm going to call it map so that we can remember what exactly it contains. And now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to save the whole workbook. So I'm going to click save as and I'm going to call my workbook data mining and I'll save it into the same folder as the data set. By the way, if you're using Tableau Public, the free version of Tableau, then you will have to save your workbook to the Tableau Public servers. But that's not a problem because we're not working with sensitive data here. This is all mock-up data. So now what we're going to do is create a new tab or worksheet. And in this worksheet, we're going to run our very first A-B test in Tableau. So the first thing we need is the dependent variable that we're examining, which is exited, did the person leave or not? And as we can see, it's in measures at the moment. So Tableau has recognized this column as a measure, meaning that it's looking at it as a number rather than as a category. For us, exited is actually a category. Did the person leave or not? So it's basically a flag. And that's why we need to move it into dimensions. I'm just going to drag it into dimensions as we saw um, in the previous section of the course. and now uh, we have the exited flag here and we can start constructing our A-B test. And I will show you a step-by-step -step method to perform this uh, visualization of an A-B test. So let's get started. The classic and most commonly used example of an A-B test is an A-B test for gender. So how about we run one of those for our data set? And basically what we'll be testing is if we hold everything else equal, and we take a male customer and a female customer, which one of them is more likely to exit? So let's take gender and we will drag gender onto columns. Now we got two columns, male and female. Now what we want to do is take exited and drag it onto color. This gives us two colors, zero, uh, blue for zero, meaning people who did not exit, and orange for one, meaning people who did exit. And now, um, we're going to take number of records because we want to see how many people actually left and we will drag a number of records into our rows. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so that we have some space. So what you can see here is there's more males than females and of the females quite a large portion left, of the males a small portion left. However, this is not sufficient for us to understand what exactly is happening and we have to fix this up a little bit to visualize the A-B test. First of all, let's add the total number of records as a label. We already know how to do that and we'll take number of records and drag it into label. And let's increase the font of this label so we can actually see it, right? Make it bold. There we go. So that's how many records we have in each of these uh, boxes. Now what we want to do is we want to replace the actual number of records with a percentage. So we want to see rather than the absolute value of female customers that left and uh, left these ones left in the orange uh, bar and the ones that stayed, we want to see the percentage. So what percentage of female customers left and what percentage of male customers left? Because that way we'll be able to compare them to each other. Right now we can't compare them because there's a different number of total customers in each of these groups. In order to convert these absolute values into percentages, we need to go to the drop-down menu of this sum number of records. Now, here we need to select Add Table Calculation. Once we've selected Table Calculation, we need percentage of total. And here an important step is to change from Table Across to Table Down. And what that will do is it will give us a percentage of total in each column. So we'll click OK. And as you can see, the number has changed. What we'll do now is we will format the label. So we'll right click, we'll go to format, and we'll change this to percentage just to zero decimal places. And finally, to make this consistent, what we're going to do is we're going to take some number of records, the table calculation, and you can see that there is a table calculation by this little triangle that has appeared on the right. And we'll hold down control and we'll drag it to replace the existing sum number of records in the rows area. What that does is now it's consistent and even um, the 
axis over here represents the percentage. Before it was just the absolute value, but now the height of the bar and the label inside the bar are actually aligned. And so let's analyze this for a second. From here, we can see right away that irrespective of the number of female and male customers, the percentage of male customers that left the bank is only 16%. And that is less than the percentage of female customers that left the bank. So the conclusion that we can make from here is that female customers are more likely to leave the bank than male customers, all other things held equal. And bear in mind that this is not the full statistical A-B test because we did not check for statistical significance. However, this is a very quick and convenient and visual approach which can give you very fast results. And then if you find something of interest, you can go and investigate it further and uh, f do the proper statistical A-B test, check for significance and things like that. But personally, I really like this approach. I like this method because it helps me focus on things that actually matter and not waste my time on uh, variables that don't actually affect my end result. So we'll be doing lots more of these in this section. Hope this framework is useful and you will see how powerful it is as we go through the tutorials that are ahead of us. I look forward to seeing you next time and until then, happy analyzing.